Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan, and you're tuning into my channel, Collector's Digest. <laughs> an exacto knife now look at this the, the NECA scope when it comes they didn't cut this back flap right and obviously michael myers mask there's that's open right there there's a slit so the first thing that we're gonna do is i'm gonna take this exacto knife and you're also gonna need this to take this mask apart and a blow dryer so you want to do this as precise as possible what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut once like so right along that seam actually a couple times All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna guide this to go right up down that seam. That way it cuts it right on open and we can pick this apart. All right guys, welcome to my little Funko corner. So I have my handy dandy uh, blow dryer here and uh, you can just do this on low, but make sure to heat up the whole skull. It's gonna get hot. So what I- All right, so now that it's heated up a little more, kind of just squeeze and you see how that's coming apart right there to the right? That's what you want because you don't want to rip the mask. All right, so that comes right apart. Bring this up here and see it comes right out. All right, perfect. So the next part, guys, this is what the other one was like. You see how that dead eye, it, first of all, there's no black pupil. Like in like the movie, it's just a white dead eye. And then that blue eye is it's just really big and it's just not painted good at all. So, and the flesh tone, I mean, damn, look at, look how dark that is. So we're gonna put this one on real quick. Let's take the sculpt put this guy right on in there all right now see look at that eye look how good that looks i just need to paint that that eye will do that soon all right guys so for this project whoops you're gonna need some paint so here i have all my brushes and everything obviously you can see i've done a lot of work i have so what we're gonna need is you're gonna need your dishes for some water you're gonna need some black acrylics we're definitely gonna use some browns some medium flesh we're gonna need that Alright guys, so I want to go ahead, and this video is going to be long, just so you guys know, but I want to go ahead and get white on that eye. You can probably notice that I'm watching it. Well, I got Halloween going on in the background, so I'm just going to take a little bit of acrylic, and uh, I'm not going to cut it with anything. Usually I cut all my paint with Windex, but in this case, I'm just using a tiny, a tiny amount, but you do want a fine tip brush something that you can get that tiny little bit of paint into that eyeball I'm just gonna take a little bit of paint I'm gonna dab it on the top here you can probably barely see that just a little bit and I kind of just want to get it in there a little bit at a time take my time with it that way I don't get the paint anywhere else okay and this eye is a dead eye, so it's not gonna be a full eye. You just wanna get a little bit of white. All right, perfect. I think that looks good. And then we can move on to a little bit of red. All right, now, you see that scar going up right there, that little red mark? I'm just gonna go below the eye right here. All right, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of character. That's how it was painted before. So we're, it's basically just going on that eyelid. Again, take your time. All right, guys, now you want to get your black out. And this is the cup. I'm actually gonna put the black in here. This is just how I, I do black washing. One of these cups, I fill it up just about half, just under or just over, whatever. I just try to get it about half. Take your paint and you really don't need a lot. I put about that much in. Into my paintbrush here. I'm gonna mix this up, see how it turns out. Mix that up nice and good. I, I want a really thin, consistency so. so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my best to hit these areas all the scratches all the indentations everything on the mask I'm gonna hit that first and this is how I'm gonna do it so you're gonna get paint on your brush all right you're gonna dip it down to the bottom there kind of dab it across the side to get the excess off and we're gonna start hitting these areas We're gonna go to a time lapse soon. So I'm gonna get that on there, kind of just let it sit for a second, come through with my handy dandy little rag, 
and I'm literally just gonna wipe it off. Now it's gonna look like, well, you just wiped it all off. Well, that's why you literally have to do this a million times. So I got this pretty dark, pretty dark, just about where I want it. Now I want to enhance these details, but before we go any farther, I meant to show you guys this, this pinhole where he gets stabbed in the neck in a 78 film. You're gonna take a pin, and you're gonna pull through that. So you're gonna put a pin in there, and don't worry, it'll actually form back. It'll close up a little bit, but you just wanna do that. And then you really want to take your brush and get in there with some black paint. Just kind of get that in there. I don't know if you noticed, but I added a lot of paint to my mix. I wanted to thicken up the uh, consistency. So there you go. Now, now that that's an actual hole, that looks a lot better. I'm gonna get some green. Now, I mixed this, I got my green and I got my brown right here. I mixed this with a lot, I watered it down a lot. And what I used to water it down was Windex. Some people use Windex, just seems to cut the paint better. Uh, you can use water if you want. I use all purpose Windex. That's just what I do. So I'm gonna go over these details up here. Really where this mask is um, decaying. I wanna get some green in there. And again, it's just like with the black. I'm gonna wipe it all away. So if anything, just kinda get a tint. And I'm gonna continuously do this over and over again. So I'll be back in a moment. like there's no white left well really in the movie there wasn't i mean overall yeah it's a white mask but just from 40 years of being held up you know latex decays and uh we're really starting to get that effect so next i'm gonna go over with brown and then yeah we're just gonna keep doing this and uh it's really gonna bring out these features man so far i think it's looking amazing Alright guys, now what I'm going to do is something called dry brushing. So, I'm going to take a dry brush, I'm going to get a little bit of brown paint, and then I'm literally going to get almost all of it off, just so there's a little bit of the paint on the brush. And I'm really going to try to get this brown into these spots on the mask. All these little creases, scratches where it's decaying. I want to get as much brown in there as possible, so I'm dry brushing it. Alright guys, and I think that's going to do it. I'm very happy, as you can see, it is pretty close to the other one that I did. 
although I did want to get a lot more brown and green in here to make it look a little more nasty. Uh, I'm very happy with it so far. And we're gonna get to the hair on this guy and I, I can't wait. Make it look like he's got a dead rat on his head. <laughs> Just like from the movie. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Pay attention, cause I'm, there's only so much of this I can show cause you really gotta focus when you're uh, rooting hair. Now, this is my fifth time, and well, I've been pulling hair off of this thing. I'm just trial and error. Finally, I learned how to get that Brillo Pad type fucking rat's nest. This is what I do. All right, take your Timmy Tan lamb fur. This is what I'm using. Timmy Tan lamb fur, you can get this off eBay. Get a small amount, right? So I want about that much right there, all right? I'm gonna cut it then. Now, you can use this stuff to start it, take a little bit, just like, just that, a little bit, just get your hands sticky. Take this and just start rolling it around. All right, you got a little ball? Now I'm gonna take some glue. Again, I'm using just tacky glue, Aline's clear. A little bit. You really don't want this stuff uh, dry and white. All right, we're gonna use this side up. All right, now I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna find a place on the head. I think we're gonna go right there. Test it to make sure that that fits in there. Yeah, or actually, I'm gonna go right here. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my glue put a shit ton on it on the bottom come over here grab your skull put that on like so I'm gonna take a toothpick and just kind of pad it into position tuck it under a little bit I really just want that to stick on there like so Let's see so far, not so bad. You got that 2018 type, just nasty hair. Gotta pat that down a little bit, whoops. So you just keep making these little balls and panning it down into position. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys were able to uh, take what I showed you today and apply it to your own figure. It's really not hard, man. It is time consuming. You really gotta put a whole day, even sometimes two days away, especially when you're learning this stuff. Uh, hair rooting is not the easiest thing. It's not very complicated. It's just, you have to have a lot of patience. You gotta have steady hands uh, and you just, it's trial and error. I mean, I rehaired this thing probably three or four times between last night and today. And I filmed it all too. But finally, I was like, no, he has to have that nappy, bird nest looking hair that he had in the 2018 movie. So there was one particular video that I was watching. If you search uh, NECA repaint on YouTube, click on the Michael Myers video. It's like three or four videos down. That guy, his figure man is phenomenal. And I feel like I got as close to that as possible for my first attempt. So I will be attempting this more. I have a couple more sculpts to play with. I have that one by his foot. I do wanna mention, if you don't want to do all the browns and all the greens, man, if you just do a simple black wash on your sculpt, that's what I did with this. A black wash and a little bit of brown. And I mean, that turned out a thousand times better. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you to everybody in the NECA fan group that subscribed to the channel, reached out, showed support. You guys are awesome, man. I really appreciate it. I didn't expect everybody to, uh, to like it and i mean i'm happy that they do but i didn't expect that so thank you guys shout out to everybody in that group and everybody that subscribed really uh recently i truly appreciate it man that means the world to me so uh now i have a, another michael myers figure that i don't know what i'm gonna do with i thought maybe i would repaint it like the coveralls to make that more screen accurate but i don't know i i, I feel like i'm pretty happy with this one so i think maybe with an extra sculpt and that extra figure uh, and that I mean I'm not gonna do anything with it maybe hang on to it but maybe I could take it apart I could paint it just like I painted this one do the hair on it and then for 500 to a thousand subscribers if we ever hit that I can give that away so that's a cool idea maybe I'll do that maybe I'll hear that thing up and get it ready to give away to one of you guys 
just a little thank you for the support you've been showing me. So, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Uh, that's going to do it. Stay tuned. I have a Hot Toys coming this week. Uh, I have Lori Strode coming. Lori Strode is on the way from NECA. So excited about that, man. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name's Dan. You've been tuning in to Collector's Digest. Until next time, guys, God bless. Peace.